How you doing guys? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. We got a buffer here. It's from Central Machinery. It'd be Harvard Freight. It's a six inch buffer. Um, I've been wanting to make some knives and I've uh, been buying a couple tools so I may be able to make a pretty decent looking knife. So we went in and picked this up as buffer. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. We'll get it unboxed and uh, see what comes with it and put all there. <clears throat> we got an owner, owner's manual. Got an owner's manual. See if we can get this thing out of the box. Looks like it comes with two buffing wheels. We got two buffing wheels. And then we got um, this will be your spacers and your washers to put the buffing wheels on with. And then we got the grinder or the buffer. Now they had another one in there, and it was a buffer, it had a buffer on one side and a grinder on the other. Now if you've been watching my videos, you probably know I don't need any more grinders. I have quite a few of them. So we went ahead and got the one with the two buffing wheels on it. One on each side, so... Now, <clears throat> it looks like it's pretty, it's definitely a pretty heavy little machine. I'm not sure how much pressure you'll be able to put on these before it shuts the motor down. But we'll go ahead and get it together and uh, get it fired up. This is what all it came with. We got this wheel here. And then this one here looks a little different. It's got the threads on it. This one does, does not have the threads. It came with two spacers and four washers. And these are going to go on each side of your uh, buffing pads. Now this... Uh, machine is a six inch buffer it says 3450 rpms uh half inch arbor i'm trying to see the horsepower on it 1200. i don't see the horsepower on it but we're going to get her fired up i'm going to go ahead and get this put together and then we'll get her fired up we got both the wheels on here now and uh, they took a 19 millimeter and one side has right-handed threads and the other one has left-handed threads so when you're putting it on there and you think one of them nuts won't go on you might want to try it on the other one because one's gonna have left-handed threads one's gonna have right-handed threads now while I was in there at the uh, Harvard Freight I went ahead and picked up some polishing compound and this says it's good for uh, Copper, brass, stainless steel, and steel. And that's about what I'm, I work with in my garage. I think it was about $4.99. And then I picked up two extra wheels, buffing wheels. So I'm sure these are going to wear out. These are the ones that came with the machine. And I picked up two of these, two extra ones. And plus I got a cabinet over there full of them too. So... I got a couple of extra buffing wheels and I think they were about $4.99. Now the machine itself, I think it was uh, about $44, which I thought was pretty cheap, considering what they're asking for buffers. Um, and I used a 20% coupon, so I probably only paid about $30 some dollars for this buffer and for what I'm going to do with it. It's probably going to work just fine for me because I don't. I'm, this is not something I'm going to use every day or all the time. Just every once in a while. So I'm going to take some of this compound here, and let me get a knife. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this compound and uh, put it on there, and I'm going to try to buff up a brass shell, one of them cartridges from a bullet cartridge. Head. This is what I'm going to buff up. I figure ah, we'll just try to shine up a piece of it and see how it works.
Now they had <coughs> a lot of different kinds. <coughs> they had a lot of different kinds of this polish in there. You can get it for just steel. You could get it for aluminum. Uh, they had a bunch of different ones, and I think they were all about $4.99. So, we'll go ahead and put some on here. It sounds nice and quiet. You can see the wheels turning black, so it's cleaning it. <clears throat> so it does work really well. You can see the difference in that shell. Oh. So I think this is something that I'm going to like using. I tried to push pretty hard on it to see if it would shut the motor down, but it doesn't seem like... I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard, and I'll tell you, it's really doing a nice job on that shell. So I think this is going to be a nice tool to use. Nice and quiet. I like how quiet it is. Boy, that sure made a nice looking gel. There's a big difference in that. Almost looks like a mirror. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. It is a half horsepower. I think it's going to be strong enough for what I need. It seems like this buffer is going to do the job that I want it to do. I'm not so sure about the wheels yet, uh, how long they're going to last. But these are what came with the buffer and I got plenty of other wheels to be using. Now, keep watching my videos, and you'll be seeing this used. I'll probably be using it maybe this weekend. I'm going to make a knife, so uh, keep your eyes open. Hopefully, I'll be using this machine, and I did get a new uh, uh, sander. I got a 1x30 belt sander, and I'll have a review coming out on it after a while. I'm not going to put one on for it right now because I want to use it for a while and make sure I know how it's going to work. But this buffer... I had a hard time even slowing it down, so I think it's going to be okay for what I want to use it for. I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.